Welcome to the Panther Lair Show on Triple Live Radio. Chris Peak, publisher of PantherLair.com, here to talk some Pitt sports as we always do. And Pitt's uh, represented at the ACC meetings this week down in Florida. Pitt's athletic director Scott Barnes is there, Pat Narduzzi, Jamie Dixon, Susie McConnell Serio down there discussing all the important things going on in college athletics in the ACC. And one topic that came up was the grad transfer rule. And one prominent person who's against or opposed to the current graduate transfer rules is Scott Barnes. And when you read what he said in the Post-Gazette and the Trib, I think Barnes got it wrong. He used this quote. He said that the grad transfer rules created, quote, a culture of free agency. And it has. And you know what? That's a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Good players, I was thinking about this, good players, good football players, basketball players, they really have few opportunities to control their own destinies throughout their you know, athletic careers. They, they choose a school when they're a recruit, so they've got an option there. And then if you can get to the NFL and get through your first contract, you have an option when you're a free agent. So you can kind of choose your, your, your path in those two situations. But you're looking at about a time frame of about 10 years and you've got basically two times where you can choose your own destiny, choose for yourself. Everything else, it's controlled. You want to transfer to a different school? Go ahead, but you have to sit out for a year, and that's only if your former school decides to approve the school that you want to go to. You go to the NFL, you get drafted. You don't get to choose what team you go to. You get drafted. The graduate transfer rule that says, you know, if you finish your undergrad degree and you still have a year of eligibility left, you can transfer and play right away. That gives them one more chance to make their own decision, control their own fate. Now, Scott Barnes, Pitt's athletic director, you know, he doesn't like it that most grad transfers don't actually get graduate degrees. He's got some numbers. Apparently, only a third of players who do this grad transfer thing end up getting graduate degrees. I understand that's the point of the grad transfer rule is that they would get these degrees. But I think Barnes is missing the bigger picture here. These guys got undergrad degrees. They completed their education. They did their part. This is all supposed to be about education, right? This whole college athletics thing is about getting these guys educations and degrees. Well, here are guys who got the work done. It's almost a reward for getting their degree. You know, you came in, you worked hard, you got your education, you want to go somewhere else for a year, go to it and play. Now, Pat Narduzzi had a quote on this too. He said, uh, I think this was in the Post-Gazette, he said, quote, let's say Tyler Boyd got his fifth year, he graduates, we know he's a great player, but he says, I think I'm going to play at USC my final year. What does that do for Pitt? End quote. Come on. What does that do for Pitt? What does that do for Pitt? This isn't about Pitt. This is about the players. For once, we can do something for these guys, for these kids. Narduzzi went on to say, quote, here we are trying to graduate our kids early and get them out before three and a half years, and all of a sudden now they're leaving you? Yeah. If they finish their degrees and they have a year left, I think you've both gotten plenty out of that relationship. And if they want to leave, let them. Sometimes, so I know this is crazy, but sometimes it's okay to do right by the players. It's not the end of the world to allow them one more opportunity to control their own fates.